Hello, I'm Luis San, chef founder of Restaurant Neum. Neum has been open since uh, 2021 July. Neum is served contemporary Seoul cuisine. Seoul is a very vibrant city, so I want to introduce uh, mix international and traditional Korean flavor to the diners. Hello, Andy. Uh, dog or tail, please? Chili? 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 If I craving for Korean food, I order the Korean one. Usually the one, they usually have a very long queue every day, but I try to have it in the morning. And this one, and soup, they have another beef soup also quite nice. Yeah, always change. So now it's 9.30. We usually having breakfast at Amoy Hoka Center with my team. So we generally talk about our uh, private things or co uh, company stuff in casually. Because outside is more chill, so we are just simply talk about our own stuff. Hello, I'm chef founder of Neum, Luis Han. I came to Singapore eight years ago, and my restaurant been around for two years and four months. So usually 10.30, we start doing the preparation for today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So now uh, our prep time. We have uh, a lot of things to do. So you're doing all the chili things, right? Yes. The bouquet and everything. Here's the Emson. He's uh, our R&D chef. Uh, he's doing R&D together with me and then uh, training all the stuff for the next bowl. Oh, he's cutting abalone for tonight, our uh, second appetizer dish. So this one is our episode 6 menu, the Korean abalone. We braise into the dashi about like uh, 2 hours and make it very tender. We later we slice like waves so they can take the more taste in the abalone. And then he cutting, that one is the tofu. We make tofu ourselves, homemade tofu. So as a Korean, we use a lot of soya bean, with a bean paste and everything. So here's a gukjin, one of my Korean stuff. So he's blanching the vegetable for tonight. But like he recently got tattoo. It's our restaurant tattoo. He loves the restaurant. Many people wondering why we start work so early, even though we're doing only dinner service during weekday. Uh, because we're serving almost like almost 17 different type of dishes, so we start 10 to 10:30 30 every day, and usually take like six to seven hours to prepare preparation for daily service. Even though not really see the step behind, but have a behind step. Tonight we have a 33 packs. I'm going to make the garnish for our first dish. So it's a cured daikon. We make like some cover, like blanket. When I was young, I want to be a chef, but my family wasn't really happy with that. And I uh, happened to know the best Korea culinary high school. And then I asked my teacher to register for me. And actually, I went to interview and I passed. And school was very far away from my house. Need to take about like one and a half hour to go. So I really wanted to prove to my mom. Really wanted to be a chef. So I never late uh, to school, even though I every day need to wake up at 5.30. So we order a plate from Japan. And then finally come after three months, right? This one come early. Two months. Yeah, two yeah, months. Two months, after two months, finally come. So we frequently update, uh, change our plate, so our customer never feel bored to see that every time have the same plate. So this one I wait for about two months now. Very happy, very happy and very... <laughs> need to pay money now. Yeah. Pretty, right? $100. If someone break, <laughs> I very sad.
area. How are you? So usually 12 o'clock my service crew coming and then we discuss about the dietary and reservation for today and this week. And how about this week? Saturday, Saturday for lunch. Okay. Next Tuesday. Okay, good. The dietary not everything you're doing now. Oh, yeah. Why are you so stressed? Stress, no stress, no stress. Mm? No stress, no stress. So he's uh, Awi, our pastry pot. He making our signature rice cake. So this is our pot menu. This is the episode one, my favorite ingredients. So illustration and more about the ingredients. And next one is the front yard barbecue. It's my home. This is actually my home. Same looking. I'm talking about my memory of having barbecue. And now currently we're serving the episode six. This is after work hideaway. This is actually the our in front we chain to the like Korean pocha store. Yeah, so I keep continuously collect and making the new menu now. It's getting Michelin star is my lifetime dream. So uh, first time I know that I'm going to get a Michelin star. I was very dreamy and very nervous. I totally uh, cannot breathe. It's still unforgettable moment in my life. That amount of huge congratulations from people before. You guys know that we got award from CHOP, right? Restaurant of the Year. This award is very meaningful because if that one is a customer, really customer bought for us, then we become number one. That means we need to have a more responsibility to return the high service of quality and food, most importantly. And no matter what I'm around, not around, name need to be same. Every day need to be same. Yeah, well deserve you guys. And thank you very much. And please keep pushing for next. Very good. Okay, have service. Now 5.30, we set up for the restaurant dinner service and check the final uh, preparation for dinner service as well. So actually, usually we every day prepare all the testers, each item. So make sure everything flavors and uh, texture, everything is correct. I need to check before service. We'll make sure everything is full as well. Come on, pickle is hot. Come on. No, come on, just eat it. Come on, just eat it. Come on. Yeah. Choose more in corn. A bit more. Ben, can you check the juice? A bit bitter, leh. Mason. That one's next. So three snack, one no beef. Three snack, one no beef. I'm just saying, three fish. Three fish. Pick up two, Abby. Stand by, three, Abby.
fish with brine with a kombu. And then they have a two type of puree, which is parsnip and then roasted bell pepper. My most memorable dining experience is the, in Japan, Osaka. So actually my booking was 7 o'clock, but I lost. So I only happened to reach there around 9 o'clock. But they are still greet me. And uh, they try to understand me because I don't speak Japanese, I'm a foreigner. And I'm having meal and my dinner was finished around like over midnight. And chef was still there and then he was really telling me that like even though like like lost and still come to the restaurant so he say appreciate it so i was very touched after that left the restaurant and actually it was rainy but i didn't have an umbrella i just walking over myself and suddenly someone is calling me and run with the umbrella actually it was chef and then he passed me his umbrella and he run home without umbrella. It was very big meaning to me. It gave me a lot of inspiration and gave me the direction that what type of chef I want to be. So we are done for dinner service. Now we start packing up and cleaning the kitchen. After we got the Michelin star, actually my diner's expectation is higher than last time. But it's very uh, give me good motivation for myself to push harder, even though after a long long day and long hour of working, I just enjoy cooking. I always want to share with my customers. Of course, I need to bring up some more quality according to uh, people's expectation. But I be myself to cook sincere, cook nice food, and talking about the story. I will be same always.